Well, hello, welcome to Izzy's Tarot. Thank you for coming to my channel. You could have gone anywhere, but you came to my channel. For that, I'm always grateful. Thank you so much. I'm going to do a Scorpio love prediction reading for February 27th through March 5th. Please keep in mind, this is a general read. If it's not your story, it's not your story. Don't try to make it your story. Just take what you can from it and leave the rest. In addition, please know this energy can go either way. It can be your energy, your significant other's energy, or someone else's in your love space. Please keep that in mind as you watch and as you listen. If you enjoy my reading or if my reading resonates with you, please give me a subscription or a like. I will be most humbled, honored, and very grateful if you decide to give me a subscription or a like. Thank you in advance if you do. Let's see what's going on with my intense, passionate, loving Scorpios. Show me what's going on with my Scorpio spirit guys. Show me what's going on. Let's see, Scorps, what you got going on. The devil. The four of swords. The star. The queen of wands. And the Eight of Wands. Huh. Score. Who's this love addiction that you got? You got you are intensely in love with someone. Someone you are addicted to this love. This is a love man. Mm, this is one of those kind of loves. Can't excuse me. Let me also say this can't be a Capricorn person because Capricorn represents the devil's sun sign, but this is someone that you are intensely in love with. You're time, trying to take a break from them, though. You're really trying to just get it together because your feelings right now are so intense, so passionate concerning this love addiction. I'm, I dare to say it could be a Capricorn person, uh, but remember, this is a general read. It could be anyone, but one thing about it, you're obsessed and you are, you, oh, you are addicted to this love. You're really trying to take a time out with that four of swords because you need to get it together. It's like, whoa, what, this addiction, you really, this love addiction, this love affair and this love addiction, you really need to get it together. But so you're trying to take a time out. You're trying to give yourself some space here to get it back together because you have really lost it when it comes to this person. This, this addiction that you have, this love addiction that you have with someone. Now here in the middle of your reading, I see the star card. The star card is always about hope. Star card also can also can also represent an Aquarius person as well. But that star card is about hope too. And you know what I think? Um, I think what's going on here, you're trying to make the transition. Not when I say transition, this is why you're in deep thought here with this four of swords. This is why this is just a time out for a minute, because I believe you want to marry this person. This person is you no longer want them to just to they are your addiction. They are your addiction, but you want to marry this love addiction because the star card here is all about hope. It's all about hope. You're, you're wishing, you're hoping, you're dreaming. It's all about hope for you because you look at this person as a queen of wands. And, you know, my queen of wands is always my wifey card. The queen of wands is also a very, very well put together person gorgeous um, most of the time uh, queen of wands can be someone that um, is very well kept um, likes attention but more importantly for me especially for this read i see this as a wifey that's a wife card you want them to be your wife and i'm gonna tell you what's going on here i think what's happening is that you are um a little bit nervous, a little bit afraid if to uh, propose to them. Because what's happening here is you're saying to yourself, um, and I'm going to tell you why I say this. What you're saying is here, this eight of wands is communication, constant communication. What you're saying is that you're afraid that if you propose, are they going to say yes? Because if they say no, you're going to be shattered. So you're really nervous about this situation with them. You're trying to gather everything, get it together. This is such an intense passionate love addiction that you have you can't imagine being without them this is someone that you want to be with and you're really really ready to make that move and propose yet and still i have that uh, uh that um um that uh, eight of wands and what you're trying to do is make sure you can get a definite yes that's what's going on. You're trying to make sure you're having conversations with this person because you want to make sure that you can get a definite yes. You know how you feel 
But you know, you try, you have to make sure that you can get a definite yes. Or if this is a man, that's uh, if this is a woman, you know that someone is getting ready to propose to you. Someone is getting ready to propose to you. And you're asking them questions to make sure that you can be the right type of, um, you're asking them questions to make sure that you can say yes. Because that's important on both ends, whether it's a man or a woman. The man is is, is worried because um, if it's a man, they're worried because they're, uh, they want to be 100% sure that the person's going to say yes. If you're a woman, you want to make sure that you can say yes to them for a marriage proposal. So it's going both ways. This is a dual read for a man or a woman. So what I'm going to do here, please give me three to five minutes. I'm going to clarify the reading. I'm going to ask the spirit guides to clarify the reading for you. Sit back, relax, and let's see what additional information the spirit guides want to tell you about this relationship. About this relationship. Show me, spirit guides. Why is the devil the card here? Show me. Why is the devil card here for my Scorpios? Why is the devil card here? This is an intense read, though. So let's see. Show me why the devil card is here. Oh, I have the nine of swords. You've been through some pain with this person. Be it a man or a woman, you've been through some pain with them. They've kept you up at night. You've had, you know, um, you've been unfocused. But, but let me say this to you. I'm not quite sure that it's their fault. I think that you just fell deeply in love. I think you're just addicted to their love. And I think that's what keeps you up at night because you're not used to this addiction. You're not used to, you're used to people being more addicted to you. But I think you're addicted to their love. You, 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 uh, and there's something here that keeps you up at night because you want to marry them. And I'll say that again. This nine of swords is not, I don't believe it's on them. I think it's on you. I think it's on you because you want to marry this person, but you're afraid, um, you're insecure, you're feeling, you're not quite sure how to move with this. So let's see. You have nightmares of their saying no. <laughs> I'll say that again. You have nightmares of them saying no. So let's see. Show me, Spirit Guys. Why is the Four of Swords here? Oh, I have the Strength card. The Strength card... The strength card is all about putting somebody in the same place, in the same mindset as you. As I told you before, you are afraid. Um, there is something here that has you, um, your stomach in knots. And I think it's just because of the love addiction that you have to this person. But you want them to be on the same page with you. You're trying to, you see the woman with the lamb here? You're just trying to calm, well, you want to calm your nerves first and foremost. But you also want to just calm yourself down and calm the whole situation down because it's so intense for you. It's so intense for you because this is a big step if you ask them for their hand in marriage. And also if you're a woman, if you decide to say yes, this is a big step. Um, so you are trying to make sure, and as I said before, that you guys are both on the same page. You're trying to make sure that you're both on the same page. This is keeping you up at night because this is a pending proposal. Either way it goes. An acceptance, a yes or a no. So let's see why the star card is here. Show me spirit, guys. Why is the star card here? Oh, I have the wheel of fortune. This is all... You propose. <laughs> the universe got you. This is good karma. The universe got you. You and this person, especially if this is a Scorpio and a Capricorn, which get along very well. I have many friends who are in long-term Scorpio and Capricorn marriages. Yes, they're going to say yes. They're going to say yes. If you're a woman, you've made up in your mind, you're going to say yes. The star card is there, which is hope. Like I said, which is hope. So let's see. Why is this Queen of Wands here? Show me spirit, guys. Ace of Swords. Clarity. You have the clarity. You know now. You're getting ready to propose. Absolutely. If you're not getting ready to, if you're the one, if you're the man getting ready to propose, you you have clarity now. You know they'll say yes. You've had these conversations because here's this eight of wands. Yes, and it's over this uh, queen of wands. She's going to say yes. And if you're a woman, you are going to say yes. So let's see why the eight of wands is here. Show me spirit, guys. Why is the eight of wands here for my Scorpios? Show me spirit, guys. Oh, I have that Empress card. <gasps> Oh, Scorpio, you're with child. I think this makes all the difference in the world. 
Yeah, you're gonna you're gonna say yes, cause you're with child. That Empress card shows you're with child. This is this person, um, whomever you is going to ask for your hand in marriage, or if you're the one that's getting ready to accept, they're going to be head over heels. They're already in love with you. There, there's already a love addiction here. A love, a, a this is a grand love affair, um, because it's ending just right. Let's start at the beginning here. The devil. This is someone that you have an addiction to. An addiction to them. You are incredibly in love. I always say the devil gets a bad rap. It also can represent Capricorn, but the the devil card can. But you, uh, the devil always gets a bad rap because it's always negative, but it's not. You are incredibly in love with this person. I even say addicted to their love because in order to be in love with someone, you have to be in addicted to their energy. You want to be around them because that energy makes you feel so good. And that's exactly what's happening. But, but here it is. Here's the Nine of Swords here. And the Nine of Swords being there, you know, you're a little bit worried. And then when I say they've done nothing to you, but it's you. It's you because you've never had this type of addiction to a love or to a person before. You know that they can shatter you at any moment. You've never had this kind of um, addiction. And that's what the problem is. And that's what's happening. That's why you can't sleep at night. In addition, you want to ask for their hand in marriage. And you're a little bit afraid. So you're taking the time out with this four swords just to contemplate it. But here, that strength card. That strength card saying you want them to be on the same page with you. You're nervous. You're afraid. You're insecure. You think they'll say yes. You're not sure they'll say yes. If you're a woman, you're, you're trying to put all your pieces together to make sure that you can say yes and that it's coming from your heart space and you want to be with this person. I have the star card here. And the star card is all about hope. Uh, great hope. Great hope. But guess what? Here is that wheel of fortune on top of that star card. Yes, 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 both ways. Yes, you will you will marry them. And here is that queen of wands. This is a grand love affair, and I'll say that again, because the queen of wands, you want wifey, and here's the ace of swords, which means clarity. Yes, 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 yes. And the eight of wands is there, which you're having conversations, whether you're a man or a woman, because you're going to figure out, you don't even have to figure out anymore, because here's this empress card here. You are with child. You are definitely going to say yes. It's not, and let's say this, it's not because you are with child. It's not because you have a child coming. It's because you simply have a love for this person. And this will be, I predict, a marriage that will last a lifetime. I do. I really do. Um, so let's see. Show me spirit guides. Show me angels. Show me. Huh. Yes. They're going to say yes. Yes. You will be married to them. That's what I have for you. For your love prediction reading Scorpio.